Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steen Roller free play of the day. As always, if you're having a little fun, making a little money this weekend, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us the thumbs up, just the recognition that we crave. Uh, if you would, we'll take a minute here to do it. Everybody hover over the thumb on my count. Here we go. Three, two, one, click, smash it. All right. Well, yep, there it is. All right. Well done, everybody. Appreciate it. And, of course, if you haven't done so already, you can uh, join, we can say it now, 10,000 of your closest friends have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Click the bell, and that get, way you get notified each and every time we put up brand new content, not just myself, but my old buddy Scott Reichel, and the show that we do each and every day, taking a look at our favorite plays that day called Today in Sports Betting. And, of course, if you need more information on this game or any other game, make sure you stop by and check out winnersandwiners.com. It's bowl season firing up today, kids. And you know there is no better resource anywhere on the interwebs for bowl information than winnersandwiners.com. Always there, always free. All right, well, let's uh, take a quick look. Oh, of course, I want to implore you. Of course, let us know what you're playing today. What do you got cooked up? We got a, uh, got a college game. We got a pro game. We got some basketball going on, a little soccer across the way. Whatever it is, put them in the comment section. Drop your favorite plays in there. You get them right, you get a shout out. You get enough of them right, you will be the capper of the day. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, do a quick recap of yesterday. We had the uh, Cleveland Browns cover six and a half. Uh, I would say they did it quite easily. They did have to withstand a little bit of a final drive there from the Giants at the couple of them, in fact, at the end of the game. But it, uh, it worked out well as the back door slammed shut on the New York football Giants and Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns ended up covering. We'll take it. Absolutely. So we're going to take a look at this game here tonight, a little NFL contest between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals coming to you uh, from Cincinnati. Taking a look here at the total, guys, of 40 and a half. Yep, it's 40 and a half. I hate to do it, but I see no other way out. It is time for yet another classic steamroller under as uh, I look at these two teams and I just don't see where the points are going to come from. Pittsburgh can certainly put up some points. I have no doubt about that. But this Cincinnati offense has been seriously hurt without Joe Burrow. Uh, they don't have Joe Mixon. Of course, they haven't had him for a while. Uh, since Burrow went out basically three and a half games ago, uh, it has not been good. Brandon Allen had made the starts the last three weeks. Uh, the Bengals scored 31 points total in his three starts. Now he got hurt. So uh, now we get to see the guy that couldn't beat out Brandon Allen. So that should be fun. Uh, it's actually Ryan Finley, second-year guy out of North Carolina State, fourth-round pick. Uh, made three starts last year. Didn't go well. Put up, uh, stop if you've heard this before, 33 points. So, uh, and I guess on the plus side, he outscored Brandon Allen by two points. Uh, on the downside, it still sucks. 11 points a game. Uh, he's thrown 19 passes this season and two interceptions. So, if you extrapolate that out and... Uh, he ends up uh, throwing uh, 400 passes. That's going to be, uh, what, 40 interceptions? Yeah, that's, that's Jameis Winston territory there, kids. Uh, Pittsburgh, you might have heard they're working out some offensive problems. They got Big Ben throwing the ball about 900 times a game. That's not really the Pittsburgh game. Uh, James Conner's going to be out this one. Um, I'm not really sure that's a problem. I, I think that uh, I think that, uh, that the uh, running back duo of Snell and uh, the other guy um, are certainly... Up to the task, I, you know me, if you watch this show a lot, you know I'm not a gigantic James Conner fan. I don't think he's a, a RB1. So uh, I think Pittsburgh's going to run the ball. I think they're going to work hard on running the ball and establishing the run. They know that their recipe for success does not go through Ben Ben Roethlisberger throwing the ball 50 times a game. It really doesn't. They haven't done well the last two games. They've had a problem. And I think they want to get back to what makes Pittsburgh Pittsburgh. Run the ball, stuff them with the defense, and uh, do the thing. Kill the clock. Um the Bengals' defense, they'd actually been decent before last week in Dallas when they gave up 30. Uh, they'd give it up 20 or less in three straight before that. So I think that, uh, you know, they'll, they're not, they're, I mean, they're not a great unit, obviously. Uh, but I think they'll at least put up a little more than nominal resistance, enough to keep this total under, because I really honestly don't see uh, the Bengals helping us much here with these points. So give me the Steelers, Bengals under 40 and a half at the end of that one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, everybody, let's take a quick look and see how everybody did yesterday. A lot of guys, a lot of guys did very well. 
Uh, a nice day indeed. Starting off with the old T train. The old T train went 3 0 oh, 1. It went plus 300. Nicely done. Christian Costia, 2 2 and 1. He got juiced. The carrot also went 2 2 and 1. A little bit of carrot juiced. Uh, Joseph Caval went 4 and 2, plus 180. Jorge Correa went 2 and 2. He got juiced. Uh, Francisco uh, Hernandez went 0 oh, 1 on his parlay, 1 0 oh, on his teaser. He got juiced. Uh, Eric Catherine went 4 0 oh, 1, plus 400. Nicely done. Pat Cogney, 3 1 and 1, plus 190. Another good day for Pat. Roland Graves yesterday wanted to let us know. He went 2 0 oh on, uh, on the NFL games. Well done. Well done, Corey. Uh, that's plus 200. Corey Graves. Did I say Roland Graves? My apologies if I did. Corey Graves, plus 200. Well done, Corey. Roland Mims went 4 0 oh today, plus 400. Well done, Roland, the astute aardvark. He went 3 and 2, plus 80. Uh, JD Sportsnut slash Ohio, sure. Uh, he went 1 and 0, plus 100. Chris Flood, 2 and 1. And uh, on his straight bets, 2 and 0 on his teasers. He went plus 290 on the day. Ryan McClinton, uh, he went uh, 2 0 oh, and 1 straight, 0 oh, and 1 tease, plus 80. Alex Yarkin went 1 and 1. He got juiced. Uh, Paul Gremmen, who had a very painful uh, sounding description of how yesterday went for him. Uh, he loaded up today on the Browns, went 1 and 0, plus 100. Well done, Paul. But uh, we saved the best for last. Scott Nowak hit a three teamer, finished it up with the Browns tonight uh, after after having uh, the Buffalo Bills and Green Bay yesterday. Finished up the third leg of his three teamer, going 1 and 0 on the parlays, plus 600. Nice job, Scott. Well done, my friend. No sweat. Uh, um, his. Uh, as they certainly took care of business, and you didn't get to see that back door tonight with the Giants. So, Scott, way to go. Oh, uh, hitting that three teamer plus 600. You, Scott Nowak, are the capper of the day. Well done, indeed. And well done to the rest of you. Nice job out there, guys, making a little money. Very, very well done. Congratulations. Appreciate uh, each and every one of you throwing your picks up there. Appreciate each and every one of you watching this show, as always. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, um, and keep doing your thing. Keep checking us out, and uh, yeah, there you go. Good luck today on all your plays. Hope every one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money back at the window. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you all. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.